Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add a coupon code system to your Stripe checkout button. So we've shown you how to create a button of your own with its ID. Oops. So we gave a, we created the button, gave it an ID. I just wrapped it in a little div to move it a little bit into the center of the screen. And oh, we got to give it an exact ID here. So let's call that 4242 42 will be the ID. Okay, so then just go into paid members app. Go to my save payment buttons and choose your payment button. It's this one here. Okay, so then click advanced options and use my custom HTML button. To do a coupon system, you have to use your own button with its own ID like we've created. Then just check this box. And we have a couple styling options depending on if you have a light, um, a light or dark theme. And so click create button. Okay, so let's copy this from the clipboard and I am just going to paste that in above the closing body tag right here. Bam. Okay, and then when you refresh your screen, you have a coupon code field. So if you click that, uh, your customer can enter a coupon. So if I put a bad coupon, bad coupon doesn't work. Click apply, coupon code's not found. We have coupons in our Stripe account if I click that one. This is normally a $29 plan, that's a half price coupon. So if you just click the button, it's $29. If you apply the 50% off coupon, you can see that it calculates to $14.50, which is half of $29. I have another coupon in my Stripe account that is $20 off, so it'd be $9. And check the general section for a video on how to create your coupon codes in Stripe. The key two things to remember are that this is a test button, so it only takes test coupons. Your live coupons won't work on this test button and vice versa. Your live buttons only take live coupons and this, these test coupons won't work on your live buttons. You have to make live coupons for your live buttons and test coupons for your test buttons. And then also the ID of the coupon is what matters, not its name. So we cover that in the other video. Just make sure to give it the same name and ID. And then uh, even though the note in Stripe says the ID is optional, we use the ID as your coupon code. That is how you create a coupon system for your Stripe checkout buttons embedded in custom HTML using paid members app.